to finish up our project here, let's return back to plan view. And what I'm going to do is go into the dimension tool here. And I'm going to leave pretty much things the way they are. We're going to be in this first mode here and this mode over here. And I'm just going to go over and left click one corner and then go over and left click another corner and then I'm going to double click above and that's going to give me this hammer symbol. The third click will set my dimension string down and we can see the dimension of our structure here. Now if we'd like to dimension these objects here, our doors and our windows, again we can left click a corner, we'll go find the center of our window here and I'll just kind of hover over my window and find till the pen turns black. Same thing over here with the door and again left click this last corner here and then I will double click above and again left click to set that dimension down. Similarly with this corner over here we don't have any windows over here but we'd like to get it maybe we'd like to get a dimension here we could left click here left click below double click and place that dimension down. Now we've got a window over here we don't need to know the overall dimension of this wall because that's already been established by this dimension over here. But we could show that this window is centered just by left clicking a corner, go down, left click our window, and again left click this corner, and we can draw our dimension string out. You can see, yes, indeed, this window has the same dimensions on either side, so it is centered. Lastly, we've established the width of our structure up here. We don't need to do it again down here but we do need to know the position of these elements down here. So let's left click a corner. We'll click this window. Notice I'm sort of waiting till the object highlights. When I get close to the center of the door, I kind of wait till the door highlights and then I click on it. Same thing with our window here. And again, this corner here, double click, draw down the dimension and place the dimension. So you can see we've got five, seven, six, seven, six, and five again.